Hey everybody, Backpack Hack here coming at you with another trail tip and I want to talk to you a little bit about using a revolver as your everyday carry piece. Now I'm not going to say offhand that revolvers are superior, nor am I going to say semi-automatics are superior. What I'm saying is semi-automatics have advantages and there's a lot of information out there on the internet about why they are uh, preferred over revolvers. However, I don't see much information about the advantages or benefits of a revolver over a semi-automatic. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to dissuade you from carrying a semi. That's fine. If it's your choice, what I'm actually here to do is to give you the benefits and the advantages of a revolver over a semi-automatic because there's very little information about this out there on the internet and I found that it's hard to find. So I've compiled a list over the years about what are the benefits of a revolver over a semi-automatic. We're talking about firearms, so safety first. There is no magazine. And I can see there's nothing in the chamber, so that one is safe. We'll also safe this one. You can see that there's nothing in there. I can see it as well. So, let's go ahead and get started. Bear with me, my memory isn't perfect and I can't remember all of these, so I have to write them out. Number one, you're probably going to guess, revolvers are simply more reliable. And that means because they're, they're simpler mechanisms, you don't have the slide that you have on a semi. So you don't have any fail to feed, you don't have failure to eject, you don't have stove piping, you don't have double feeds. None of those problems that are associated with a slide are present in a revolver. A lot of people understand that one. Second, revolvers do not leave brass. The brass stays in the cylinder unless you dump it. So if you won't want to get out of town fast and not have to worry about picking up all your brass, a revolver might be advantageous. A revolver doesn't need to be charged. It doesn't matter what you do with a semi-automatic. To make it go bang, you have to do this, okay? That is not true of a revolver. You put the ammo in and it's ready to rock and roll. This is something a lot of people don't know, know about, is a revolver cannot be taken out of battery. This now, even though it's empty, would be considered in battery if there was a round in the cylinder. And if I put this up against the table, and push, I don't care how hard I push, if there was a round in the, in the cylinder, I pull the trigger, it's gonna put a hole in my table. The difference is, let's pretend there's a round in this, that is now out of battery. I pull the trigger, it will not go off. This can be important if you're using your everyday carry piece for personal protection, and let's say you've actually gone hands-on. Your attacker is physically putting their hands on you, you're trying to fight them, you get their gun and you shove it up against them, pull the trigger, this will go bang, this may not, okay? That's another advantage of a revolver. In a revolver, if a round fails to fire, let's just say it's a bad load, it's a dud, um, whatever, you just pull the trigger again, okay? With a semi-automatic, you got a round in the chamber that doesn't fire, you now have a stick or a rock. You have to do this to get that round out of there and put another round in the chamber. You don't have to do that with a revolver. The other advantage is, is that round still may be good. With a revolver, it's still in your firearm. You can keep pulling the trigger till it comes back around again and maybe it'll fire. With this, you've ejected it, it's on the ground and now it's worthless to you. Revolvers are simple. You put the ammo in and you pull the bang switch. That's all you got to do. With a semi, you got to put the rounds in the magazine. You got to put the magazine in the firearm. You've got to cycle the slide. Yes, I understand that some people say I carry my semi with a round in the chamber. That's fine. But this is a lot simpler. Did you notice at the very beginning I checked these? I safety checked them? Okay. If I hadn't done that, and I did this, would you be able to tell whether this is empty or not? No, you can't, not from that advantage. Even going like this, and it's hard for me to pull on that recoil spring and look back down in there, and ideally, I should put a finger in the chamber to make sure and, and feel that there's no 
round in the chamber. That's kind of hard to do with this firearm. Plus, if my finger's in there, that might hurt. But if you notice at the beginning of the video, both of us were able to tell that that is empty. We don't need a finger in there. We can just look, okay? That's another advantage of a revolver. Revolvers are easier to clean and maintain. Semi-automatics, you know, I, I have to take the magazine out, pull the trigger, pull back on the slide, push these buttons, pull the slides out, uh, take out the barrel and the recoil spring just to clean it. For a revolver to clean it, that's all I need to do. That's all I got to do to clean this thing. So they're a lot easier to clean and maintain. Uh, number nine, a revolver is a revolver is a revolver. Now, I'm not going to get into the difference between double and single action, but once you learn a revolver, you've pretty much learned all revolvers. That isn't always true with semi-automatics. This Glock has the safety and the trigger. However, other firearms I have, semi-automatics, there's an actual lever on the side. And I may sit there and think, where is the dumb safety on this thing? You don't have that issue with a revolver. They're pretty much all the same. No limp wristing with a revolver. And what limp wristing is, is in order for this cycle, or this slide to cycle, it's got to have the body of the firearm firm and in place. So the inertia can pull this back, eject the, the casing, and chamber another round. If you're limp wristing and doing this, you're not holding onto it tight, it won't, it won't cycle properly, and you won't have your next round available to you. Revolver has no limp wristing issues, and this can be important in a firefight for your life, where ideally you want to have your firearm out here. You want to shoot in the correct posture, but that isn't always possible when you're in a fight for your life. You may have to shoot from down here, or up here, or down low. You may have to not be in that ideal position. And when you're in these odd positions, when you're, let's say you're crouched down and you have, you can't hold your firearm up here, you can hold it over here because you're crouched down behind something, you don't have that limp wrist issue. And extending on that, again, ideally, you want your firearm out in front of you. However, that can be a tactical disadvantage if your attacker is very, very close. You don't want to put that firearm out where they can actually reach out and grab it. So trainers will always train you to also go to a close to body ready position. Now, if I had a round in the chamber and I pull the trigger on this, what's going to happen? Take a look. I'm going to put one hell of a bruise right there on my sternum and I may break some bone. That is the last thing I want to do when I'm in a fight for my life. A revolver, however, can easily be held in a close to body ready position and fired from that position without worrying about hurting myself. Another advantage to a revolver. Revolvers can fire in your pocket, especially this kind, which I personally prefer as a carry piece with a shrouded hammer. This I can carry in my pocket, I can fire from a coat pocket or underclothing, and I can fire repeatedly because it has a shrouded hammer. This, I may be able to fire it once from a, a pocket or under my clothing, but it may not cycle properly. So I'm only going to get one shot out of this. Caliber choices. Pick 22 LR on up. So they come in a wide variety of sizes, and those sizes are not dependent on the caliber. Now think about this. You look at a firearm like this, and this looks natural to you, the size of the grip. However, this grip has to be at least so big. Why? Because this magazine fits inside of it. Why does this magazine need to be so big? Well, in order to fit these rounds. So the grip on a firearm, a semi-automatic, is determined in part, or great deal, by the size of the caliber. That's not so with a revolver. I can get a larger grip. I like the smaller one. It just makes us a nice, tight, compact carry weapon. But I could get larger uh, grips for this, or I could get smaller ones. I can change this grip as much as I want and not affect the caliber. So there's another one up on uh, for the revolvers. I won't get into the, the debate about whether keeping your magazines loaded will hurt the springs. Um, 
you can decide what you want to do on that whether you want to take, like these are 13 round magazines, whether you want to load them with seven, eight or nine or 10 rounds and not fully compress them or relieve the tension every once in a while by emptying them and, and rotating through full and empty magazines. But you don't have the problem with a revolver. This basically can be neglected for years and it'll still work. Now I'm not talking about neglecting like it being out in the weather, but you could put this in a gun safe or wherever you want to store it for decades and It'll work just fine after decades. Another advantage is a revolver, get this around here where hopefully you can see it, because a semi-automatic, or most of them, are flat on both sides, they lay flat on a flat surface. Not so with a revolver. Because of the wheel creates a space between the body and the the flat surface. So if I am in a situation where I have to reach out and try to grab this, I'm really stretching out there to try to grab this, I may not be able to do it. But a revolver, I can pick up because I can get my fingers underneath it a lot easier. Granted, that's probably not going to happen a lot, but that is one advantage to a revolver. No expensive magazines in a revolver. In fact, no magazines at all. Now, yes, you can get speed loaders. Speed loaders cost money, but these speed loaders were a lot less than these magazines. And these can be far more universal. Some uh, speed loaders can fit seven, eight, nine, ten different firearms. Revolvers, and I'm not saying this is a true statement across the board, but revolvers are generally a little bit more forgiving with reloads. Some semi-automatics simply outright will not fire a reload. Some are finicky about it. Some have problems with it. That's not a really a, you know, a problem, as big of a problem, I should say, with revolvers. Another problem with the semi-automatic is where are the sights on this? Right there. And what happens when you fire it? They move in relationship to the firearm itself, that slide moves. The sights on a, on a uh, revolver, they're fixed, they don't move. Now, yes, you're gonna get recoil with either one, but the difference is you're gonna to have to wait for this thing to slide back into position before you even start to reacquire your target. Yes, this is gonna have recoil too, but you don't have to worry about the sight coming back into the proper position before you start to reacquire your target. Now, one of the advantages to a semi-automatic obviously is round capacity. These are 13 round magazines. One could uh, argue, well, you can carry 14. 13 plus one, you carry one in the pipe and then a full magazine. Yeah, I get that. But that also might tend to lend a hand to spraying and praying. If I've only got five shots, I'm going to stop and I'm going to think about them. I'm not, I'm not going to go through this whole process, but I'm going to think, is this a shot I want to take? So I, it, it's going to keep you from spraying and praying. The other advantages to a revolver is if you're out and you have loose ammunition, you've only got one magazine, you've got to stop and put that mag ammo in the magazine just to continue firing. It's easier to reload a revolver. You simply dump your brass and start reloading. And if you have, if you want to carry these, that's fine. But if you have loose ammo, it's a lot easier and a lot faster to get this back up and into the fight than it is this if you only have one magazine. So because of all that, my final point is basically until you are actually in a firefight for your life, you can sit there and dream and think and plan about how you would approach an attacker. But no amount of thinking and dreaming and pondering is going to prepare you for the actual encounter that you may come across. And I hope you never do. But that's the reason we carry is in case we do. But you will never ever come across the situation that you thought about. So you don't know how you're going to react. 
when you are actually faced with a life and death situation and you have to draw your firearm to protect yourself. You don't know how you're going to react. And anybody who says otherwise is going to be a liar. So with all this, I'm going to say, personally, and this is my opinion, that's the reason I carry a revolver, in part because a lot of these advantages of a revolver over a semi-automatic. Size is not the issue here. They will both do the job in a life and death situation. It's just that these, these uh, advantages, the benefits, to me, make a revolver a better weapon. I'm not going to say it's superior. Again, I want to reiterate, I'm not trying to dissuade you from using a semi-automatic. I simply want you to have the information that you need to make an informed decision. And if you only hear one side of the story and everybody you talk to says, well, get a semi-automatic because you can reload and you've got magazine capacity and blah, 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 that's fine. But you need to temper it with the information that makes an, a revolver an advantage. So I hope I haven't droned on too long and bored you to death, but hopefully I've given you a little bit of information that you can use if you're deciding between a revolver and a semi-automatic. Again, I don't care which you choose. It's your choice. But I just want you to have the information, have all the information you can find, and, and hopefully this will give you the information you're looking for on what makes a revolver a better everyday carry piece. So with that, I'll wrap this video up. This is Backpack Hat coming at you with this trail tip. Be safe out there, and I'll see you out there on the trail.